Hello again, friends. It's Stuart Payne from Read 20 and the Read Mobile. We're looking at a really cool story today. This is called The Three Pigs by David Wisner. This is a really uh, bizarre take on the classic Three Little Pigs story. Uh, beautifully illustrated. So let's jump right in. Once upon a time, there were three pigs who went out into the world to seek their fortune. The first pig decided to build a house and he built it out of straw. Along came a wolf who knocked at the door and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the pig answered, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. So the wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. And the pig says, hey, he blew me right out of the story. And he ate the pig up. Blew him right out of the story? Is he coming off the page there? Now the second pig built his house out of sticks. But along came the wolf, who knocked at the door and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the pig answered, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. So the wolf said, okay, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in and ate the pig up. But this pig is coming out of this page too. He says, come on, it's safer out here, outside the book. Yeah, so that's what's going on. The third pig built his house out of bricks. And the pig was like, hey, why didn't you two get eaten up? Said the third pig. We got away from that wolf for good. And now we have room to move. Watch this. Oop, watch out. It... Hey, man, let's explore this place. Okay, just let me fold this up. So we see all the pages of the book. And now the pig is folding up one of the pages to make a paper airplane. I think things have gone off the rails here. Now they are flying their paper airplane and the pig on top says, Wee! Hmm. Very interesting. Three pigs on a paper airplane. Oh, that must be a page with the wolf on it. trouble. Looks like they made a crash landing. First pig says, oof, as he rubs his head. This one says, hey, over here. And this pig says, wait, what's that? Well, I think it's, I think someone's out there. Hey, come help us with this. Is that another picture from a book? Oh, it is another story. It starts like this. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Well, the little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Wow. Hey, man, let's get out of here, says the pig. So they did. Hey, check this one out. Come on. No, how about over here? Oops. Looks like they found another story. And it goes like this. High on a hill there lived a great dragon who stood guard over a rose made of the purest gold. And they're trying to get in and see. Hold still. The king was determined to own this treasure. So he sent his eldest son to slay the dragon and bring back the golden rose. Come on, come with us, they said to the dragon. Hurry. The dragon said, hey, many thanks for rescuing me, old brave and noble swine. I don't mention it, said the pig. Cat says, hey, diddle diddle. Oh, look who's here, it's the cat. Welcome. Hmm, now what? Find something? What is this? Asked the cat. 
Wow, what a scene. Well, it, it's my place. This is my place. You see, uh, do you like the brickwork? I did it myself. And the dragon says, yes, it's a fine castle, methinks. Yes, it is very nice, said the cat. You know what? Uh, we should go home. Good idea. We just got to pick these up. These pages from their story. And along came a wolf who knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the pig answered, Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And the wolf said, Okay, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And then the wolf huffed and he... But no, how, no matter how much he could not... Because there's a dragon in there now. First pig says, okay, that's enough. He says, come inside, everybody. Soup's on. Cass says, I think we're going to like it here. And I think the dragon agreed. And they all lived happily ever after. See what they did here? They blended two or three other stories into the little pig story. And they showed the pigs escaping from their own story and finding their way into other stories and getting those characters to come out of their books too. What a crazy idea, huh? This has been Mr. Stewart with The Three Pigs by Dave Weissner. And don't forget to read a little something every day. Thanks. Goodbye.